New at five, Florida lawmakers cracking down on thieves targeting catalytic converters. New proposed legislation would charge thieves with third degree felonies. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld explains the top targets thieves are looking at. If you know what you're doing, a car thief can dissect a catalytic converter from the exhaust system of any vehicle in about 60 seconds or less. They get the gadget, the victim gets sticker shock. Are you telling me two to four thousand to replace it? Yes. Patrick Olson, editor in chief of Carfax, says the company's data scientists reviewed millions of catalytic replacement records and determined 153,000 catalytic converter thefts across the country last year alone. Well, that's an incredible number. The motive for all those thefts is the precious metals packed inside. Platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Platinum and palladium are going for a few hundred dollars each per ounce, but rhodium is like $10,000 an ounce. But the market prices fluctuate. To put it in perspective, this week, look at gold. It's selling for around $2,000 an ounce, while rhodium is now selling for $7,500 an ounce. What's in it for the thieves is they can get paid hundreds of dollars um, from people who will melt them down, take the parts out, and then recycle those precious metals. Carfax tells News 6 the top 10 targets for catalytic converter thefts in the southern region of the country, including Florida, are dominated by Ford and Chevy truck models. If they're popular models, there's a lot of targets to go after. News 6 ran an independent check with law enforcement agencies in central Florida and found catalytic converter thefts tops in Orange County. In fact, it more than doubled from 365 thefts in 2021 to 786 last year. This year, deputies tell us they already have 87 catalytic converter thefts on the books. We've got to put a stop to it. It's just uh, insane, the amount that are getting stolen. Here in Florida, State Senator Linda Stewart is co-sponsoring a legislative crackdown on catalytic converter pirates in the form of Senate Bill 306 the Catalytic Converter Anti-Theft Act. It's affecting fleets of cars, it's affecting dealers. Republican State Senator Jim Boyd crafted the bill, which carries a penalty of a third-degree felony for any person who possesses a stolen catalytic converter. We just don't need to have this happening in Central Florida. Stewart tells me she's confident the bill will pass, but with the stakes so high, the thieves will probably continue to take the risk. Law enforcement agencies suggest etching the VIN number on the catalytic converters just in case. Mike Holfeld getting results, News 6.